Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will discuss turnover and valuation of inventory. The specific topics we will cover are, we will determine inventory value using the weighted average method. We will use the FIFO method to value inventory. We will use the LIFO method to value inventory. And we will estimate inventory value using the retail method. Now let's look at an example in which we are going to determine inventory. Now let's find the inventory value for the following company in which the beginning inventory is 80 units at $14.50. In July, 50 units were purchased at $15.80. In October, 70 units were purchased at $13.90. And now in inventory, they have 90 units. We're going to use the weighted average method to determine inventory, the FIFO method to determine inventory, and the LIFO method to determine inventory. And we will define each of these methods as we go. Let's use the weighted average method. First thing we need to do is find total costs of all inventory. We have 80 units at $1,450, which is $1,160. We have 50 units at $15.80, which is $790. And we have 70 units at $13.90, which is $973. So we have 200 units at $2,923. So for the units that were purchased, we find an average cost by dividing $2,923 by 200 units, and we find an average cost per unit of $14.62. Now, in inventory, we have 90 units. So the weighted average inventory value will be ninety units times the average cost per unit, which is $14.62. So the inventory value by the weighted average method is $1,315.80, the weighted average method. Now let's do the FIFO method. The FIFO method, the word FIFO means first in, first out. And it assumes that the first goods that arrived are the first to be sold. So the last items purchased are those that remain in inventory. So those that are remaining in inventory are those that were purchased in October, which are 70 units at $13.90, which is $973. And those purchased in July, which is 20 units, at $15.80, that gives us our 90 units. 20 times 15.80 is $316 at $1,289. So by the FIFO method, the inventory value is $1,289. Now let's determine the inventory value by using the LIFO method. The LIFO method assumes that last in, first out, or in other words, the goods that are remaining in inventory are those that were purchased first. So by the LIFO method, we have the beginning inventory, which is 80 units at $1,450, or $1,160. And we also have those purchased in July, which is 10 units to add up to our 90 units, 10 units purchased at $15.80 each, which gives us $158. So by the LIFO method, the value of our inventory is $1,318. Now let's estimate inventory value using the retail method. Let's take a look at an exercise. 
Cell Phones Plus had an inventory of $27,000 at cost and $45,000 at retail on March 31st. During the next three months, they made purchases of $108,000 at cost, $180,000 at retail, and had net sales of $162,000. Let's now look at the value of the inventory at cost is $27,000 plus the $108,000 purchases, giving us $135,000. At retail, we started with $45,000 and made purchases of $180,000, giving us an inventory value at retail of $225,000. In order to use the retail method, we need to divide the goods available for sale at cost which is $135,000 by the goods available for sale at retail, which is $225,000. $135,000 divided by $225,000 is 0.6. Now we're going to subtract the sales from the value of the inventory at retail. So we'll subtract $162,000 sales obtaining $63,000 remaining in inventory at retail. So the value of inventory at cost will be 0.6 or 60% of $63,000, which is $37,800. In this section, we have discussed valuation of inventory. Inventory is certainly a very important aspect for all businesses. So now it's time for you to go and do some of these inventory problems on your own.